we're going to look at the per worker aggregate production function. We're going to derive it. So here is a aggregate production function for an economy. Y is real GDP. A is total factor productivity. K is the capital stock. L is the quantity of labor. We have constant returns to scale for this aggregate production function since the exponents here on the K and L sum the 1. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve for the per worker production function. And the way to do that is we're going to divide both sides of the production function by L, units of labor. So dividing here by L and on the left-hand side by L. This step will now simplify to what we have down here. L to the 0.8 divided by L is just 1 over L to the 0.2. And just collecting the K and L terms, we can write the right-hand side like this. And then in our next step, uh, since K and L are both raised to the 0.2, uh, we will simplify the right-hand side to this. And in terms of words, the left-hand side is output per worker or GDP per worker, and that equals A, total productivity, which is multiplied by the capital to labor ratio, which in this production function is raised to the 0.2 power. What is commonly done is that Y divided by L is going to be represented by lowercase y, so where lowercase y equals output divided by the number of workers, and lowercase k represents the capital labor ratio. So this is the output per worker production function. Let's do an example problem. Um, in this example problem, the output per worker production function is given as follows, where output per worker or real GDP per worker is equal to A multiplied by the capital labor ratio, which is raised to the 0.2 power. Let's assume that total factor productivity, or A, is 1,000, and the capital to labor ratio is $32,768. What is real GDP per worker? So we're just going to evaluate this production function, this per worker production function, at these values. So making our substitutions, A is 1,000. Uh, for lowercase k, the capital labor ratio, we're putting in 32,768. And doing the math here, we get 8,000. So real GDP per worker, um, output per worker is $8,000. Uh, the last thing we could do is, what is real GDP per capita? Assume that 50% of the population works. So, well, what is real GDP per capita? Uh, this simple equation will be useful down here. Real GDP divided by the population, that's real GDP per capita. And that's said to equal real GDP divided by the number of workers multiplied by the number of workers divided by the population. This is really an identity. Uh, notice here on the right-hand side that we have workers in the numerator and workers in the denominator. So that just cancels to 1. And you got real GDP per capita equals real GDP per capita. So this... Um, um, is really really an identity here, but it's useful for um, looking at uh, factors that will affect uh, our standard of living, real GDP per person or per capita. So plugging in what we know, we know that real GDP uh, per worker is $8,000. Okay, we got that in this top step, and we're told that 50% of the population works, so the number of workers divided by the population is 50% or 0.5, so we get GDP per capita of $4,000. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.